Welcome to the feature clip on electronic file layout templates in SAP Business One Release 9.3. Today we are going to introduce the ability to assign a generic electronic file format, known as a GEP file, as a print layout option for any report or form in SAP Business One. Currently, in SAP Business One, we can create an SAP Crystal Report print layout via XML. You simply run your report, like a documents journal for example, and extract the XML structure from the report, such as the table column, value and name. This structure is then leveraged by the Crystal Report, which is then imported into the Electronic File Manager. The Electronic File Manager maps all of the required fields out of the report that your bank or an authority or whomever requires a report in electronic file format. Once the mapping assignments are complete from the Crystal Report structure to the final structure, you can then save these definitions as a GEP file. In Release 9.3, this GEP file can now be assigned as a print layout to any report or form. A major benefit is the ability to capture calculated values that are not stored in a table such as cash flow or some general ledger information. This new feature allows for greater flexibility in generating files and provides the user with a one-click experience to generate electronic report files simply using Print Preview. Here is an example business case scenario. Jason Butler from OEC Computers created a GEP file based on a Crystal Report, which was built out of the XML form structure of the Document Journal Report. Jason assigns the GEP file as a print layout for the journal report using the Layout and Sequences selection window. All authorised users can now generate on-the-fly electronic files when previewing system reports. Let's have a look at this business scenario in SAP Business One Release 9.3. I am currently logged in to SAP Business One as Jason Butler. I have created a GEP file that I am going to assign as the Document Journal Layout option. To do this, I need to open the Report and Layout Manager. So I navigate to Administration, Setup, General, Report and Layout Manager. I simply select Import from the Report and Layout Manager window. This opens up the Report and Layout Import Wizard. I then need to specify the file for import. I select my documentjournal.gep file. I then need to select the layout. So by choosing the list of document types, if you know the table code, you can simply enter it or by clicking on type name, I can then search for Document Journal. Once I've selected the layout and I've imported my GEP file, I simply select Finish. I'm now going to run the Document Journal report. I simply look up Document Journal. and then I run my report. Once I have run my document journal report, I can now select the layout designer icon. As you can see here, the electronic file format is now an option. So we're going to select this option as the default option for all users. Now, upon selecting Print Preview, and the electronic file manager begins to generate the electronic file, and once it's complete, you can easily review the result file. Alternatively, by selecting Print Layout, or the Preview Layouts option, you've got the ability to still review the Crystal Report. 
Once a GEP file has been assigned to a report or layout, users can now easily generate electronic files by simply using Print Preview. That concludes our feature clip for today. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out the other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.3.